These days, we are all about do-it-yourself projects. But should your wedding be a do-it-yourself project? That's just one of the myths we are going to debunk today. Nora Shields from Bridal Bliss is here to put to rest some of the biggest wedding myths. Hi, Nora. Hi. So, uh, yeah, this do-it-yourself thing. Yeah. So is it a myth that it's going to save you a ton so of money? It's all the rage right now. Everybody really wants to do their do-it-yourself projects. And if you're doing it because you think it's fun and you want to make these things yourself, then great. But if you're doing it to save money, it's most likely not going to save you money. Um, usually when do-it-yourself projects come up are with the printed materials, so like the save the dates or the invitations. And when you think of all the supplies you need to buy, like the papers and the special cutters and you know all those supplies that go into it, it really adds up. So it ends up costing many times more than if you had it professionally done. Um, and just the time and the effort and the frustration that goes into it. So I definitely recommend having as many items professionally done as you can, unless it's a really fun thing for you. Okay, yeah, unless you're one of those super crafty Pinterest types. Exactly. That likes doing that kind of thing. Exactly. And yeah, it, it depends what kind of value do you put on your time, because right. it takes a lot of time. Right, for sure, especially those printed items. I mean, it's, it's so tedious to get them perfect. Yeah, I know I did the hand calligraphy to address the oh, envelopes. Good for oh, that you. took forever. <laughs> um, so uh, debunk this myth about a wedding planner being too expensive. Okay, so many people in their minds see wedding planners for the rich and famous, and we really aren't. Uh, many times I end up costing my clients less than I save them. So, um, you know, we can get exclusive discounts with vendors, we negotiate contracts, and just the amount of time that we save our clients is immeasurable. So definitely, whether you're hiring a coordinator for full service planning or even day of, we can. there's so many different ways we can help. Um, my clients love that they don't have to do anything on their wedding day and their family doesn't have to work. Um, the planner is just there to make sure the day runs perfectly and everything is really smooth. And if something does come up or there's some sort of hiccup, there's a coordinator there to deal with it and nobody will even know. Yeah, so. uh, I had a day of person and it did take a lot of the stress yes. out of the whole thing just knowing that there was someone on top of stuff okay um debunk this myth about you should have the same number of bridesmaids as you have groomsmen right people are really worried about making sure it matches on each side and it really doesn't um you can have less bridesmaids more groomsmen vice versa you can even mix it up so there's guys on the girl side like um a bridesman or a man of honor or you know vice versa it's kind of a fun way to mix it up. Um, I have a wedding coming up this summer where they have two extra groomsmen and so those groomsmen are going to escort the moms down the aisle. So you can kind of be creative with it and figure out fun ways to include everybody. Okay, that's a good one. Uh, I, I like this next myth you're going to debunk. An iPod playlist can save you money. Yes. Well, it can save you money, but it can totally ruin your party, especially if you want a really fun dance party. Um, you have to think about the iPod, great, you have that, but you still have to rent all of the equipment. Um, when you hire a DJ, you get the high-end sound equipment that they are familiar with, they know how to work, and they really read your guests and your crowd. So, um, you know, if people aren't really responding to a certain genre, they'll mix it up and put something else on, just so the party is really going, everyone's involved, everyone's happy, and um, the DJ can also serve as an MC to, to announce events and have a microphone there for toasts and cutting and that type of thing. Right, they can kind so, of run the show. Yeah. Okay, um, you debunk this one about the wedding must include dinner and wedding cake. Okay, so you think of a wedding, you think of dinner, dancing, wedding cake. It doesn't have to be that way. There's really no rules anymore. Um, it doesn't have to be dinner. It could be brunch. It could be a lunch. It could be cocktails like heavy hors d'oeuvres. Um, and you don't have to have a wedding cake. There are some really, really cute dessert things you can do, whether it's a dessert buffet or a special plate of dessert that's you and your fiance's <gasps> favorite or something like that. So definitely mix it up in that way and it makes it more interesting and more fun for your guests. Such great tips. <laughs> we have more uh, great tips, or you have more uh, great <laughs> tips, on your website. Uh, Nora Shields' website is bridalbliss.com. Nora Shields, thank you so thank much. Thank you.